Good evening, folks. Welcome to a Tropical Low Update this evening, the 18th of November, 2025. This update, as always, brought to you by a major sponsor, TownsvilleSheds.com. Right, we've got a low-pressure system. It's located, or let's put the ruler out and let's find it. It's located just around about there. It's about 275 kilometres to the north of Darwin. It's been moving steadily northeast today at about 10 kilometres an hour or so. Uh, the system's going to continue moving northeastwards for the rest of the uh, next 24 hours, more than likely become a tropical cyclone at some stage tomorrow or tomorrow night uh, and then uh, begin tracking or stalling and then begin tracking south and then eventually southwest uh, you can see here the forecast track map from the bureau of meteorology i'm just going to take that that and that off so you can see that better you can see our forecast track map there from the bureau of meteorology showing the system coming uh, into contact with land around the coburg peninsula and then potentially going through hell's gate and uh, pushing over the tiwis but there is a fairly large error margin that you do need to be aware of here uh, both in in terms of speed and also direction of motion where the error margin extends almost out to null and boy uh, where the system could lie because there is a little bit of doubt still that the system might move a little bit further eastwards but most of the guidance is suggestive of this sort of type of crossing or this type of track and the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has already labelled this a tropical cyclone. They have a, they have a uh, weak uh, standard for a tropical cyclone. So they've already labelled this a tropical cyclone 05S. And you can see same, same, almost identical paths expected from the two agencies, east, northeast and northeast, then a stall, then a south, then a southwest or west-southwest uh, push. But once again, we do see an error margin that extends out towards Mill and Gimby and an error margin that completely misses the NT coast. And it's not just the width of the error margin, but it's also the length of the error margin. Once again, the forward speed uh, that we're expecting, it can be a little bit unpredictable at the moment. Looking at AI models, we have the system crossing around Wurrawai on the European AI model on uh, Friday. But importantly, notice after it crosses Wurrawai, it gets very, very close to Darwin. The remnants of it push basically on, on the southern parts of the suburbs of the city. GFS AI model also has the system crossing around the base of the Coburg and once again the remnants are pushing directly over Darwin. Interestingly that numerical weather prediction models are predicting a system that does intensify a bit more than the AI models which isn't unusual of course uh, but we do see a relatively similar crossing point around that Coburg Peninsula in most of our dynamic lades and then we see the remnants pushing uh, in a west southwest to southwest direction once again very close to the vicinity of Darwin so just because it may not hit Darwin directly and that's still not set in stone but if it doesn't hit Darwin directly there's still expected to be quite significant impacts in and around the city from whatever's left of the system or even a weakened system if it does push through Hell's Gate. And last but certainly not least is the European model, which tends to be the best model at prediction of a tropical cyclone activity. And we do see it passing basically right through Hell's Gate there, which is probably about a worst case scenario for Darwin. That's the worst of the impacts there. And you can see the worst of the impacts getting up to about a category one plus, category two minus. So low end two, high end one over Darwin at that stage. But listen, intensity, that can change very quickly, especially if there's not as much land interaction here. So don't go taking that to the bank. Initial impact on the coastline likely to be on Friday and then impact over Darwin would probably wait until Saturday at this stage. So you've got plenty of time to get prepared. Stay up to date with the latest from the Bureau of Meteorology and uh, don't forget, if you want the full ins and outs of why it's doing, what it's doing, where it's doing, what it's doing, how strong it's going to be, all that sort of stuff, we go into all the scientific analysis of all, all this stuff if you're interested in that in our subscription service. Head over to weatheriq.com.au and sign up. Have a good night. I'll have another chat to you tomorrow night. We might make these a nightly thing while this thing's operating, eh? Thanks for watching.